Hey everybody, I'm Mark Wilson. Thanks for joining me. Rotisserie chicken is probably one of the best ways I like to have chicken. Just the idea of that thing just going around and around, the juice just going, coating it all over it, it's divine. So we're, that's what we're making today. Um, I think you're going to agree. You're going to like it because it just turns out amazing if you follow these directions every time. Uh, no matter what you're cooking it on, chances are you don't have the same setup that I have. Um, whether you're cooking it on a, your grill, uh, whether you're cooking it on uh, something that you bought that you shoved the chicken in, or whether you've got some fancy attachment in your oven, either which way, doesn't really matter. We're going to go through the same process of uh, prepping it because I've cooked it in multiple different rotisserie machines and systems before. Always the same process. You want to brine it. Um, by brining it, what you do is you're infusing, allowing that meat to get moisture moved in between the muscle fibers and really pack in a great deal of moisture. It makes it juicy, which is nobody likes dry chicken, right? And then I've got a special seasoning we're going to use. Um, man, it really brings out the flavor. And then how we prep it. So it's going to be quick. It's going to be simple. There's not a lot to it. I'm going to show you how to take care of it. I'm going to show you how to put it on my system out there. And uh, then we'll talk about cooking temperatures in a minute. One of the things we want to do is make sure we get the seasoning all up in the bird. Um, not necessarily in the cavity, but definitely between the skin of the breast and under the skin. Get some more flavor in there, uh, slice into it, flavors penetrate the meat. Trust me, it's worth it. So it's kind of a simple process. All you really want to do is lift up, lift up the skin here, peel it up. And then push your hands in. You can take a spatula and put it in there. And then you end up like this. And do the same thing on the other side. And then you just take the seasoning. You really want to just pack that in there. Massage it, move it around. Do the same thing on the other side. Trust me when I say it makes a huge difference. Um, if you haven't done that before, you should give it a shot. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to trust this chicken. So uh, the best way to trust it um, is you want it tight. You definitely want it tight whenever you have it on the rotisserie. Otherwise, it's just going to flop around normally. So you get it as tight as can be. Uh, you use whatever you're going to use to keep it together on there. Um, but otherwise, the legs just flop around. The wings flop around. It looks kind of weird. Uh, I've cooked one sometimes, one time before, before I knew what I was doing. And literally had one of the legs fall off. So don't want that to happen. Get it all nice and tight. Uh, there's a video for that in the description. I've shot a couple. This person does it amazing. And uh, that's the one that I recommend you go check out. So I'm going to get to work trusting this thing. And then we're going to uh, show you what I'm going to put it on. And then we'll get to it. So now we have our bird trust all nice and tight. We got our seasons all in the brass there, as you can see. Can do that once you already get it all tied up. It just doesn't work that way. That's just going to be a matter of just sprinkling it all over, rubbing it all around. Like I said, this to me, this is the best seasoning for this. Uh, I have the recipe for this in the description along with the details. And just massage it all around. Get it in every place where you can. Get it covered really well. And make sure you get the top of these as well. Get that taken care of. And then get some oil. Once you get it all patted on there, you just want to drizzle it on top of here. Just get it all kind of nice and coated. It could be olive oil, vegetable oil, peanut oil. Olive oil is preferred. Uh, we're not cooking any really high temperatures. So peanut oil will be a bit overkill. It's more like for high temperature cooking. And that's not what we're doing here. It's going to be slow, slow and slow. This will definitely give it a little bit extra flavor. Uh, it's worth it. So at this point, take it, take it out and put it on whatever you're going to put it on to, uh, to do the rotisserie with and get it going. Uh, temperature for cooking this thing is going to be about 350 to anywhere 300 to 350. As for me, this is what I'm putting it on. I don't want to get like a number of these things and put them on there and cook them all together. But today, 
Just one. I'm going to jab this thing in there to make sure it holds. Just like this. Then tighten it down. We've got a bird set up here. And the way this thing works out, we're going to cook anywhere from 300 to 350 degrees from the fire from the height of this thing. Generally what that means is you can average about 20 minutes per pound the cook time. A big bird like this is going to take at least two hours, most likely 220, 230 range. And I'm cooking it over a bed of uh, oak, white oak, and some pecan. Give it a little sweetness to it. So... I'll be uh, doing a couple updates here and there, but for the most part, and this is how she goes. She just slowly spins and slowly cooks. It's not too much longer. We're looking for the temperature to reach about 175 in the breast. And that's when we'll call it good. Here we have it. Our delicious, I wish you could smell the aroma of this thing with the seasoning and the oil. And smoke, uh, rotisserie chicken, juice is coming out of it. It's going to be super juicy. Can't will not wait to bite into this thing. It's going to be just phenomenal because it turns out that way every time. The details, the description, the recipe, all this stuff is in the description of how to cook this and make this. I'm going to be pairing it with some yam pone bread, which is phenomenal. Uh, garlic mashed potatoes and some uh, some beautiful butter beans it's gonna be great all that'll be in the description below it's also gonna be in the cookbook for volume 3 um, there'll be links to that there's links to the other cookbooks as well each one of my cookbooks all the donations that I receive go to a charity for this one um, it's gonna be in volume 3 the charity I'm supporting this time is called Smile Train, smiletrain.org. If you want to donate directly to them, um, the link will be down below. Feel free to do so. It will be fantastic and great. Um, look, the world all needs all the smiles we can possibly give it at this point in time. So if you want to make a difference in a child's life, uh, they focus in uh, cleft lip and cleft palate repair. That will be fantastic. And that will be much appreciated as well. So... If you have any questions, hit me up at Cooking with Wilson. That's uh, with the, out the G because I'm country like that. Uh, Gmail, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, um, TikTok, whichever one floats your boat. And I uh, hope you uh, take care and hope you be careful. And until next time. And one last thing. Today you could end up beside somebody who's barely hanging on and just holding on by a thread. So whatever you do, when you're around others today, be as kind as you can. Because we all know the world needs more of that. Alright, it's time to sign it off.